Good morning. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, welcome to Wednesdays with Whitney. I am here with Jackie who owns Balloon Bar DSM. Ha ha. And we are, uh, we've got this great backdrop today. If you saw Emily and I's live a couple weeks ago, we were in front of another amazing backdrop she made. So Jackie, introduce yourself, introduce your business, tell us what's behind us, like do all that stuff. Yeah, so I'm Jackie from Balloon Bar. Um, and what we have here is we have some big ass balloons, part of some of the things you can now order on the website with homemade tassels here, um, custom branding on these ones for brand launch. So we've got, we've got our brand launch colors here. We are at brand launch headquarters today, so it seemed only appropriate. <laughs> and I kind of like just having these things floating behind me. I feel really special. Exactly. So awesome. So Jackie and I met a while back now, and we were actually trying to figure out how the heck we met, which is seems to be the biggest challenge in my life most of the time. Um, and I think it was through Grand Launch. Yeah. Yep, awesome. Yeah, so launch. just like reaching out, collaborating. Um, I did some photos for you really early on. Yes. And I remember 8035. Yes, um, you helped me carry. She helped I me carry that backdrop from 8035 okay. down the stairs at Crane Loft and, yes. and then down the street. Yep, so we were like a dragon, a balloon dragon train <laughs> down the uh, streets of Des Moines, which I thought was pretty great. Um, but I remember showing up and she was constructing this huge, if you were at 8035, there was a huge balloon um, photo station and Jackie was totally responsible for that. And I showed up and she's constructing it. And I was like, so, uh, how are you gonna get it there? And she just kind of looked at me and she's like, it's going to be fine. And I was like, um, I'll be back in an hour to make sure that it's fine. I did say that. I was like, oh, I've got this. And which is so funny because yes. that's literally my approach to, yeah. to everything in life is like, I got this. I'm which I love. It. Let's talk about that a little bit. Like that I got this attitude because like being a business owner, like you're, I, I, I know you're the same. I'm constantly just solving problems. Yes. And just the knowledge of like, okay. I can handle this. So tell me a little bit about your attitude with that. Where did it come from? Like, just get into that. Yeah, so exactly the problem solving. Um, I've done a strength finders, which is the <laughs> yeah. and my number one yeah. is problem solving. Oh, that's a good number and one. The, it is a great one, number one, restorative. <laughs> um, and so basically my approach to life is just always being able to work quickly and being resilient and working through problems, mm -hmm. and that is the result of how I was raised, yep. which was coming yep. from literal nothing yeah. in the hills of Appalachia. Yeah. You and you, if you listen to Jackie speak, she's got this really soft, beautiful Southern accent just, just coming in there, and it's my favorite. I'm just like, oh my gosh, talk to me, girl. Um, but you did. You, you really came from just nothing and have built yourself into a business owner. Yes. So can you tell me about that process? Because I think about my my journey to business ownership and like no one was surprised when mm -hmm. this happened like this it took me a while it wasn't until i was 29 that i started my business which like a while is relative right friend um but that didn't surprise anybody did it surprise people when you started becoming a business owner or like what was the what was the path there i think for my family so we have a small family with my sister and my brother um, I don't think it surprised them a bit. I think it, what surprised them is that this is the one thing that has stuck because I have been notorious for taking ideas and mm -hmm. just like coming at them so hard and giving them everything that I have yep. um, continuously because as I, it's really kind of a, a, a metamorphosis of growth and becoming an adult is figuring out what is honoring to me, what feels good um, yes. and how I can move inside of my world and, you know, and how to approach that in life. Yeah. Um, so as I started looking at these different ideas, I mean, I've done screen printing, design, yeah. I've done so many things. All sorts of like crafty, awesome, yeah. creative, big scale creative. You're always big scale creative. Yeah, yeah, it's like if I do something, it's always really <laughs> it's always big. Huge. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, seriously. Um, and um, working with my hands has always been very meditative. It's been a place where I can come in and actually come into myself and start to do work. Like do work mm -hmm. inside. And well, because you have outside. to be present. Like nobody, if you're creating big things like this, like you have to be there with the materials. Yeah. You, your brain, you can't. I mean, it's kind of like just, just like, and I can imagine blowing up balloons. It's just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it is. And you know, I think about it was actually about a year ago. 
actually probably about a year ago mm -hmm. this month that um, my sister, so um, are my, is my family surprised? Not so much, friends. Um, I think they were, they were probably waiting to see kind of how things developed with this. Yeah. Um, but the way that it actually started was I was working a full-time job in human services. Yeah. I was also working a part-time job serving tables at Laser's Inn. This girl doesn't have enough fun to play. She's also a mother of two, by the way. Mother of two, we're uh -huh. small. <laughs> Tiny babies. Yeah, three and six. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and then I was going through my sister who yeah. was sick very very sick um in the streets of india and we were working to bring her back into the states mm -hmm. so that way she could come back and get a stage yeah. four cancer diagnosis um and then pass away mm -hmm. you know within a month it happened so quickly oh my god I didn't know it was that fast. yeah it was fast mm -hmm. um whenever we got her back and so part of my coping has always been let's be busy jackie um be busy don't think about it just Create. go in yeah just mm -hmm. go in and just Yes. Put everything you have into work because that was the one thing that I've always felt really good about. Was well, and there's a control aspect, right? When you're, I don't know anything about this. Uh, when you're working <laughs> and you're succeeding and you're achieving and you can kind of live there. Yeah. Instead of living in like whatever the pain you're you're supposed to be dealing with. Yeah, it's it's coping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And that was that. And my one of my best friends, who was actually my supervisor at the time, Heather. So if you're there, Heather, hey. hey. <laughs> um, she called me out on one day. She's like, I see you. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I see you being so busy all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of them was balloons. I was like, I'm going to go home and do some balloons one day. <laughs> and she was like, okay, Jackie, you do that. You do that. You get there. And then, like, this happened. And then this happened. So, you said that um, last November you took a little time off from, from work just yeah. to, like, figure out where you were in the world. But it wasn't until this, what, February that yeah. this became full-time. So, can you talk yeah. to me a little bit about having a pretty prominent side hustle? Yes. Like, this, I didn't realize that you were a side hustle <laughs> when I met you. Um, and then when I found out you had a whole other job, I was like, girl, when do you sleep? <laughs> um, if <laughs> I'm saying that, then, like, there's, like, a whole thing happening here. So tell me about, like, balancing the side. Yeah. And it's not about balance, right? Let's not, no, pretend, the, yeah. let's not pretend that happened. But, yeah. like, tell us about building a side hustle while you have a business and that transition. Yeah. So working in human services, the job that I was doing, um... I came at it from a point where um, I was bringing a lot of my past experiences forward mm -hmm. um, and you know doing the balloons doing the serving tables and then you know buying a house and all of that kind of came into fruition the yeah. restaurant closed I bought the house yeah um, and then well, I, a lot of the big goals you've been working for working on kind of resolved all at the same time yeah yeah, yeah. and but one thing that hadn't resolved was me looking at grieving with my sister mm -hmm. And really, the grief with my sister was a lot, it was not just a sister dying, it was grieving my childhood. Yeah. So, because I was looking at her and really kind of saying, you know, now you get to face your whole life. Like, all the stuff that's happened, and that starts yeah. to come at me, and I was like, whoa. I you didn't face it without somebody, the person who went through it with you. Yeah, and also face it um, outside of um, really the... I needed some time to do it by myself. Yeah. So um, I was at work. I had put so much into it in my day job, and I looked and I was like, I need to take a break. I went to work one day. I was crying. I was like, Ugh. I'm either gonna quit or I need to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, Take a break. Yeah. Take a break and then I come did. back and figure out what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I did that and um, took some time just to be with my family, and I was working even harder at the balloons, and I was like, This this is what is giving me life right now is yeah. to be able to come in and create with my hands and to provide something to people mm -hmm. that is joy giving it is yes. like the epitome, it of is joy. the epitome of joy it is like the, yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> big bold color like nothing but you see balloons walking down the street and you're like hi i know yeah it's like puppies <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, and you know, I was thinking, okay, this is, people were actually really catching on to it, and people yeah. were like, hey, I want more balloons, and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. and there came a point, like, during that time, during November, um, that I kind of stopped taking inquiries, because yeah. I was like, I need to take a break, Yeah. Um, and I went back um, after, like, four or five weeks to my day job, but I came back with um, kind of a renewed spirit, to where I had some time to grieve. I had been working through EMDR therapy, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very vocal about on my social yeah. media. Yeah. Um, and learning how to 
um, let go of old belief systems about myself like you are you know a belief system is like you know some people are like you are not good enough or mm -hmm. um, you don't deserve to be happy or you're yeah. just innately you not have lovable. to achieve to be worthy yeah or, <laughs> yeah or the only thing that you're good at is work yeah. so I had to say mm -hmm. I'm going to take myself strip it completely down to just yeah. who I am as an individual and find out what my worth is mm -hmm. um, and then start there Instead of saying I'm good at I'm good at my day job. I'm, I'm good, good at this, so I'm worthy. Like yeah. no, I, me, by myself. Yeah. If I'm not achieving, if I'm not like I always think I, I, I get very wrapped up in contributing. Yeah. Like making sure I'm contributing at a really high level. And then when I take a step back and I stop contributing and I'm just like, I am gonna sit on my couch for a moment. Um, I have that I have trouble sitting on the couch. I don't know if this is a thing, but like I, if, if I'm sitting on the couch and I'm not working, like there's probably someone sitting with me, so I'm chatting, but like there's no just like moment where I'm like, let's just watch some TV. Like that's a weird yeah. thing for me to do. So like that, that contribution aspect. Yeah, well, and it's like when, if you take all that away, if you take your contribution, if you take mm -hmm. how good you are at work, if you mm -hmm. take all that, take your parenting away, take your position as a spouse, as a business owner, as whatever it is that you are, if you take all that away and you sit down with just you, yeah. um, I was at that point where I was like, who are you? What do you want to yeah. do? Um, and what do you want to do? How do you want to move forward for the rest of your life starting today? And that was a next nice moment. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is, like, the fact that you were able to give yourself that conversation though. Yeah. Like it took so it had to take like that's not just a conversation you get no. to have with yourself that's a conversation that you have worked for yeah and it I mean it was almost it was it was almost like an obedience to my soul mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds so we need to quote that. <laughs> yeah, soul obedience <laughs> um, which sounds crazy but it, it's it's truly just being obedient to who yeah. I am as an actual living human being yeah and finding out that. I am worthy, mm -hmm. I am good, I have value mm -hmm. as a person, and I get to choose how I want to do that. Yeah. And while human services is so noble, yeah. um, it is grueling, it is truly grueling work. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I am able to serve people. I, I, I would love to serve, I have to yeah. serve my heart. Yeah, that, that is like all over <laughs> your face. Yeah. Actually, like, you show up and Jackie's like, how can I help you? And I'm like, hi. <laughs> yeah. And so whenever I'm doing this, it's like, how yeah. do you, you know, Emily told me once, Emily mm -hmm. on there, you told me once the first time we met at Smoky Row, mm -hmm. you said to me, um, I realized I could be a good person without working in human services. Mm -hmm. And it rung true. It rang mm -hmm. so true to me. Yeah. And I almost mm -hmm. kind of kept that with me. I was like, you can be a good person yeah. and learn how to serve your community yes. Yes. in a creative, joyful capacity. And that and show is... Up. That, I, I feel like um, a lot of, you know, a lot of people who want to make a difference, they think their only options are going into nonprofit, going into government, going into human services. Yeah. And um, we really bonded over that moment of like, stepping into our power meant saying that we didn't need to work for other people. We could make a bigger impact if we weren't yeah. serving an organization or another boss. Yes. It's, it can be, you can use your life and your skill mm -hmm. to change people's lives yes. and learn to like, and be able to start to recognize how empowered you are as a human being and how worthy you are as a human being mm -hmm. with your business. Yeah. That and was, that was like, that was the biggest thing that I realized with creating Ivory House was that I could go out and create social change in different mm -hmm. ideas. And when you were talking about like stepping into your power and worthiness and like, um, I've been posting these photos of me with no makeup on and just like which you know like everyday life people see me without makeup on constantly <laughs> it's not like it's a shock <laughs> um, but to say like I am gonna step in front of a camera I'm gonna document this as a worthy moment because like it's a professional camera we're not like us eating with the dog like you know and that felt so raw to me even though like it's so natural and just saying all of that so like I feel like it's so strange that like our missions are very very similar like bringing people joy letting them know like but we first had to know that we were worthy we were worthy yeah and and then we could bring that yeah and also being able to show up like with this it's almost yeah. like as I work through really kind of transforming my soul and myself and really kind of learning who I am who, who is that Jackie yeah um, I know that I'm able to take my lived experiences mm -hmm. 
and show up with them yeah. in a way that people connect with. Yes. Um, yes. And it doesn't have to be in human services. It doesn't just have to be in that capacity. It's like, no. I'm able to reach out to other community members and say, you know, like, this is how you hold space for people. Like, yeah. I'm a mess. Yeah. You know, I am constantly growing and changing mm -hmm. and making mistakes and, mm -hmm. you know, having great success. Yeah. Um, but inside of that, like, I'm able to show up and say, this is who I am. Well, and the strength of knowing, the ability to show up, I talk about that, like just show up. Show up. Be, and I, sh like, I talk about that in a lot of capacities. So like show up to places where um, like-minded people, you're gonna be able to meet them and create something bigger together. But you have to show up with a sense of like, I can, I will, I will bring people with me. And being authentic. Yes. Authenticity. And like, how, like I, I think this <clears throat> word is like thrown around so easily mm -hmm. and I, I would love to break down like, okay, authentic means what? Authentic means showing up in your weirdest, like most like normal self and being cool with that. Yeah, this is me showing up yeah. the same way that I show up with my kids. Yes. You know, cause that is who I truly feel like who I am as a person is the, yeah. the woman that I am whenever I am with my with my kids and mm -hmm. I feel like mother earth and I'm like I'm weird. Well and it's a full range of emotions when you're with your kids too because <laughs> I have to imagine you get angry sometimes. Yeah. And you're able like the people I think, you know, the people that I'm able to be most authentic about are like we've been angry at or with each other. <laughs> you know like all of the emotions have happened. Yes. Who is I'm going to say another person. I think Annie Woods. Yeah, Miss Annie, Annie, Annie if you're here. <laughs> um, her Instagram says she, mm -hmm. she said something too and I was like my God, yes. That girl's got pearls I know, everywhere. she's got pearls. <laughs> pearls. <laughs> and then one of the bits of wisdom is she's like, I, okay, so in human services, this was a huge changing point. And um, one of my best friend's mentors, she was one of my supervisors, mm -hmm. um, we were kind of going through some really awkward, like, staffing transitions, and yeah. everything, was, everything was starting to feel really icky. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, this isn't. This isn't who I am. This isn't. I can't show up in this. I can't mm -hmm. be. I can't be myself and be. Um, a powerhouse for this right now because yes. of what's going on and one of them was the expectation of being nice or oh <laughs> or being kind about yes. everything all the time and yes. showing up like happy and not talking about any real stuff yeah I um, mean that was an actual conversation that had to be had because they were like um, you need to show up and you know chat with everybody whenever you come into work and be really nice and I was like what maybe I don't feel like that today. <laughs> and I was like maybe and then I, it was in that moment I was like I just don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. You know, like, I, well, and also when it's a stretch to be like, you know what, I can't show up as my most positive self where I am. Yeah. So, like, that's an impetus, an impetus for change. You're like, okay, if this is not bringing me energy, if this, if I can't get out of bed and do this, like, at my core anymore. Yeah, and it's like, moving forward, starting today, mm -hmm. who do you want to be and how do you want to do that and how do you want to function in your world? Because Your balloons. Yeah, exactly. And this is what I'm choosing. Yes. I am choosing color. I'm choosing joy. I'm choosing yes. the capacity to like. I'm going to give these away. Like I'm going to go give these to businesses today. I don't know who you are. If you want one, <laughs> you know, let us here. know. Yeah, if your business that wants one of these, you know, let me know. Um, yeah. Because I have the capacity to show up and say, hey, I here I am in the way that I'm able to show up for you today. And this is with the balloon. <laughs> Here she is. This is Jackie bringing joy all over Des Moines. Where can we find balloons that are installed right now? Do you have any installations going on? Um, well, brand launch. Well, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> over, over there. Um, ooh, actually, I have one thing to say. Um, so I have a kind of cool announcement. Actually, really, really cool. Not even kind of. Um, soft launch of this. So if you're still watching, you're the first to know. But um, so Jackie created a gorgeous background for us, and my production assistant that's been with me for two years and she's a phenomenal shooter Megan she showed up here quite a bit um, she's gonna start shooting kids extra sessions yeah so like little mini sessions for kids and the first one's gonna be with a balloon bar backdrop yeah. which we're super excited <laughs> about but dates for that will come out soon so like we've been collaborating on really fun stuff and like kids are already so extra like <laughs> like they don't even have to worry about being <laughs> extra like and that's what actually I love that and Megan is like loves kids and is so incredibly good with that. She worked with your yeah, kids. Yeah, she worked with my kids. Yeah. My daughter didn't make it easy for her. Nope. I mean, she was like, <laughs> but kids so don't. Great. And like that's, like that's the moment. I also think that that's it. Like kids don't always have to be their most perfect selves. In fact, they re like 
almost decide to not show up as their most perfect self and we have to choose to get on board. Yeah, we can choose to learn from that yeah. and show up just like they're yeah, showing up. It's exactly. Like, it's like how so you were that day. Yeah, and as a, like as a community, it's like yeah. how do we support our community members whenever yeah. they're showing up just the way that they are without yeah. them having to hide that part yeah. of themselves. Yes. And say show up. Yes. Show up in your show up in your tears, show up in your joy, show yeah. up in your anger. Like show yeah. up and I, I as a business owner and mm -hmm. as a community member, like I am here to support you. I'm gonna hold space for you right now. Yeah. So I love that. Well, yeah. lots of fun collaborations coming up in the world. Yeah. And if you see big balloons in the world, they're probably <laughs> balloon bar DSM. So yeah. get in touch with her. Uh I've seen a lot of bridal showers stuff yeah. happening, which is really cool. Baby showers. You made like a giant balloon tree the other day, <laughs> no, um, which I was pretty <laughs> excited about. <laughs> it was the cutest thing <laughs> ever. Yeah, so I've got a lot of bridal showers, uh, weddings. I've got a lot of community events coming up for cool. corporate. Um, yeah, just so much going on. It, April is turning out to be the biggest month of the year for me, and yes! it's just getting started. Yes! So, I love it. Um, love to hear that. So if you need balloons for an event, you can reach out to Jackie. Uh, Facebook is Balloon Bar DSM, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Facebook, um, Balloon Bar DSM. Instagram is Balloon Bar DSM. Okay. So that's how yep. you can find her. Um, and you do do custom orders. Yeah. Um, and these, cool. yeah, these, you can just go online to BloomBarDSM.co. Okay. And you can literally just order these online, and I can either deliver them to you or you can pick them up. Cool, love it. And you can get your, if you want to put a smart ass thing. Oh, you know, yes, you can get things pinned on here, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That'd be great for birth and, or uh, like, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be a big brother announcement or something like that. So. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, or thank you next. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. See you Bye. Next week.